creating an order in the Pack and Send Live Shipping platform. In this video, I will show you how to create an order manually to get it ready for shipping. It is worth noting at this point that if you do have a shopping cart integrated into the system, then this part is already taken care of for you. However, it's still worth reviewing in case you need to manually create an order to be processed. Whether you're shipping items yourself or you're taking advantage of our Pack and Send 3PL services, you can use this function to create an order to ship yourselves or have your Pack and Send service center ship it for you, as it will automatically appear in their shipment screen. To create an order, simply click on the orders link from your dashboard, and you'll notice the options here to either add an order, import marketplace orders, which you can set up, up this to do automatically on a regular basis, or you could manually do it from here, and to import an orders file. This is where you can upload a pre-prepared CSV file. So for this demonstration, we'll click on add order and you'll see the order screen come up. It's pretty straightforward to enter the details. If you already have a contact in your address book, you can simply start typing in their name and it'll bring up all the information. You can click on there and it'll auto-populate for you. Just for reference, when you start typing the address, all you need to do is start typing in the country name select from the drop down and same for the suburb you can either start typing in the suburb name and select or the postcode and also select once the address details are there you can click on plus to add an order item and here if you already have some products set up in your account you can start typing in the name or the SKU and again, it will bring up that information for you. Click on that, it will automatically populate all the dimensions you have in your account. Don't forget to add a declared value, which is necessary for shipping. You can also add your own product if you don't have it already in your system. Let's say it's a new product here. And enter the shipping dimensions as well. Once you have your products ready, you can then insert in a certain order number. Again, if you have a, an e-commerce integration, this order num number will automatically come through for you. But for these purposes, we'll just put that in there. And then click on Fulfillment. Fulfillment will give you your options for your shipping. You can then select which one you want. We either have the priority or the standard. We're going to select standard here. Click on Select. And you'll see standard shipping appear there. All orders are by default authority to leave. If you would like to have a signature action on this shipment, signature there. And then click on save. You will now see this appear in your order screen. We have that just there. And if everything is okay, you will see the accepted shipment sign there. If there is an issue, it will show up as invalid, and you can click on there to see what the issue actually is. Now you can either create more orders ready for shipping, or you can continue to ship items, and this will be demonstrated in our next video. Thanks for watching.